Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a suspiciously sweet cranberry juice. I say suspiciously sweet because it's no added sugar, but, well, something's been added somewhere. Either way, welcome back to the game in the previous episode. More building and also a taste of automation slash the remote access stuff. So, yeah, we've got some remote doors and door servos in and they are officially connected up, as I say. Uh, yes, they are. So, not too bad at all in this episode. More construction because, quite frankly, we really do want to get some prisoners at some point point in the coming months. So we do have two grants on the go, Inmate Health and Wellbeing and also Prisoner Acclimatisation and Engagement. We can also pick up another grant if we so desired. Let's go over to grants here. And we've got Advanced Protection, Gang Welfare, Ex-Gang Member Protection Programme. That one was very tempting because it's a 30 grand advanced payment and then 20 grand on completion. However, you do have to assign one ex-gang member so we then you know, to get the ex-gang member, we need to do a lot of the programs, which is things like the tattoo removal program and gang rehabilitation, which requires offices that are accessible by the inmates, which we currently haven't got. So that's why I'm going to planning here and I'm going to work on a lot of these things. So the tattoo removal program is, uh, let's see, ran in a tattoo removal room. So if we go to rooms, enter the tattoo removal room. It is a minimum size of three by four. So what we're going to do is have this as one, two, three, four, five. That is our parole room. We're then going to make a small one next to it and this will be the tattoo removal room. Um, how is it removed? It is removed by a doctor. Okay, so we can have that there as that room if we do so desire. And maybe a big infirmary because, quite frankly, it seems like we're probably going to need one. Um, <laughs> actually, what we might do, um, would it be of some benefit to split this up into... It wouldn't be 5x5, five five, it would be 4x5, five, and then another... Far, that's actually five by five there. We could do something like that and have another access point here. And the reason we would do something like that is because we have an office there for then is to do the gang rehabilitation, which is an office. Mm, or do we want two offices? Do we want to really heavily like lean into that? Um, the answer is possible, but I don't know exactly how we're gonna lay this out. I think. If we have the 5x5 five five there, this is our parole room, so you've got an entrance there and an entrance there. And then we want, like I say, the tattoo removal room, which can be that size. It There's no reason why it can't be something as small as that. And then maybe if we have maybe like an office here, a 1, 2, 3, 4, so it'll be that, which is perfect to remove all of the lighting. Um, <laughs> this is an office and the infirmary together. So we would have, say, objects along there. So that would be a total of 10, is that? Yep, that's fine. Um, and we can have another, say, couple along here. In fact, you know what I might do? I might make the office slightly larger because it is, well, for a start, we'll keep the lights. And secondly, it just seems to fit in a bit better. We'll have an entrance in, say, here. Uh, object in, well, doors would go there and there and over there as well. Could probably not have that door, we could probably forgo it, but no, I think we're going to leave it for now. And then the object there, which will be a metal detector. And then if we wanted to, we could have more beds along this side. So there's our office for um, the gang rehabilitation. I think we're probably going to have another office somewhere, most likely down here, but that's the tentative plan. So let's run it. Let's go over to our walls and doors and then to the Ooh, not brick wall, the concrete wall, and then we're going to build these rooms here. In fact, I might even uh, just sort of crack on and build these anyway, because, well, we do need to build them at some point. We'll go to our... Oh, yeah, doors. What doors are we going to have? Well, this will be remote access, so we'll have a remote door in there. Um, probably want the same in here, although the ones in the centre, I'm probably just going to run visitor doors in. Um, these are all probably going to be visitor doors. Uh, visitor door in there, that'll be fine. That'd just be staff door. Um, that would be staff door. This one could be probably just a standard door. We could go remote. Could go remote with that one. Um, that one, probably just a staff door would be fine. And then and this would probably go remote as well. So let's do all of that so door servos rotate that around one there one there one there uh technically one there as well over to our doors and then remote door one 
two, three, and that's a lot of money spent. So let's put up to max speed and let these guys crack on. In terms of grants, we can go for many things. I think we're going to go for Mac Sec Infrastructure. Increase the size of security force, unlock body armor through bureaucracy, tears through bureaucracy, build CCTV monitors and place them with all the prison. We're going to pick that up and we are going to go for a CCTV, CCTV improvement, which is improve your utilization of your CCTV equipment, enables you to see CCTV vision cones and misbehaving prisoners. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Whether or not we're actually going to have CCTV from the very beginning, I don't know. I know there was... Um, some comments on the previous episode regarding that and how we should probably do it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get on. Anyway, infirmary, we're going to place in here. This will have a, also a concrete bit there. The room itself is fine. Medical bed, one, two, three for now. And then we also have to hire some doctors. One, two. And that'll be our medical ward, basically. Okay. So... This will be um, staff only, all of that. We want this as access only, like so. That's fine. That should do us for now. And we also have that grant done as well. So we've got advanced protection, cell block B, reform through education initiative, ex-gang member protection. I really want to pick that up, but I'm not too sure whether it's... Uh, worth it for now. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out our rooms. We've got uh, tattoo removal room. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna place it in here because I don't know what it is like. Uh, tattoo removal machine. Let's have a quick look. Now objects this is gonna be a new thing here. And I've scrolled right in and it has highlighted it. Yes, so we can place it wherever. I mean, it's <laughs> I guess we can place a couple if we wanted to, but I'll just place one in for the time being. One will just go there. And that should be that room done. This will be parole. We might as well, again, just put one in because it's extremely cheap to do. And we should also have, yes, we do, the visitor tables, which I'm going to place in there. And then that's that pretty much sorted. We could make some extra money if we had death row. No, we're not going that. Why does the game insist uh, on us doing that? Anyway, um, as for the ex-gang member protection program, I was thinking about this. And it does say... It wants a kitchen, a canteen, a yard, etc. in a protective-only area. But we don't need that. We just don't need it. The protective area, which is this, potentially this, it does. It needs a canteen, sure, and it needs a common room, sure. Probably even a gym we could place in here. All, all totally, totally fine. And this can be our yard. Again, not a problem. But we don't need a kitchen. In here we do for the grant and we will build a temporary kitchen and then rip the stuff out <laughs> but I don't think we need as I said the the other stuff so yeah that's probably what that's gonna be and if we were to build it I'd probably build it up here and one two three four five six seven eight, nine, ten. Now, I should point out, these cells are we well, have got grading on, which means that in the future, we may actually have to turn it off, the grading. Because if we assign people here, they might not have the... they might not be able to be assigned to it. They might have too many um, infractions. So, we'll have to see about that one. Anyway, utilities, electrical cable, that apparently comes with electrical cable all the way around it so we will connect that up how we're running with power power is sort of okay i'm just gonna do that just to make sure we're not gonna run out of power interestingly people did point out that actually this power stuff um once the power goes off it to the door control system it basically breaks the entire facility um I mean, yeah, yeah, it sort of does, doesn't it? Anyway, let's just continue on with getting this stuff here. Solitary, we just need to start cracking on with placing solitary stuff and other such things. Um, walls and doors, doors, solitary door, which is secure. Um, I don't think it really matters which way it is. Does it have a default? Eh, we'll just place it there. It works either way. It's a, it's very expensive though, 600 a piece. And we also haven't got the main door on there, which um, 
these doors should be hmm these doors should be remote that's just got the standard large jail door these should all be remote and that one we can probably stick with the jail door it's it's mainly this part of it here that's going to be remote but i may go around and change that so that's going to get the solitary in we need to assign prisoners to laundry prisoners to kitchen and also to um cleaning cupboard we don't have the latter and we also need to unlock <coughs> tasers and body armor and also staff vetting reduces the likelihood of gang uh, guards being corrupted and locks guard investigation allows you to sniff out crooked guards using cis we're going to pick that up as well don't think we need to pick up legal just yet so we'll be fine on that one you see a lot of these doors are getting brought in now and we'll be taken over to there so what do we truly need to finish this thing off well for a start a lot more walls <laughs> that would be handy more stuff in the canteen more stuff in the yard that's and then the automation side of it around here that's pretty much it as far as i can think as far as i can recall hmm okay all right do we want to crack on with that then yes we do let's get it to a point where if we wanted to not that we're probably gonna soon but we can let's get to a point where if prisoners just happen to turn up we at least be able to look after them so all that's in mm, 40 grand can i remote access the entire thing one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it's gonna cost like 15 20 grand just to remote access this entire thing that's expensive uh yeah that's very expensive cell block b would give us another 10 grand hmm i think we need gang welfare and ex-gang member protection program as well hmm well tell you what there's a lot of rooms that we just don't have designated so that's security um this is an office so i guess we'll have all the usual stuff in here nice office chair filing cabinet computer desk and it did say what was it for the program it says leather sofa sofa etc is that right yeah so sofa brown I guess we can have to have a standard sofa. Sofa wide, maybe. There you go. There's that office for rehabilitation. Security room in here. Um, and also, we've got our solitary cells, which are now working, which is good. Let's, while I'm waiting, place some concrete. Because I want to make sure that we've got at least the wall around the outside of this thing. Um, for this, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do it. Most likely will be that. And the same on this side. And obviously not ideal, but at least it's in. Also flooring wise. Let's get some flooring put in. So at least they can walk at reasonable speeds around here. Okay, we're up to 20 grand. What do we need? Assign prisoners to laundry. So, uh, where is it? I thought it was logistics. Prison labour. You require prison labour, which I haven't got. Okay, well, 
let's unlock that so we can get this one done. But we need laundry. Where's the laundry going to go? I'd like it more central, so it means building this. So, building, concrete foundation. Um, that. And that requires an entrance. We can have an entrance in... Where can we have an entrance that would work? Don't need a visit door, we need a staff door. I mean, one of these would work for laundry. Maybe this one. Maybe we go... Sl I mean, how many prisoners do we have again? Um, 18 at the moment. 90 prisoners, I think. Plus these top and bottoms. Let's just, let's just work on 110. So maybe this room is acceptable. This is a bit smaller though. That'd be fine as a laundry, I think. I think that would be fine. Demolish walls there as well and let them crack on. So lots of building. Lots of security. There's body armor. We need to build a CCTV monitor and place cameras throughout the facility. Well, if we're going to build one, we might as well keep it. So, CCTV monitor. One, two, can't put it there. I want at least a couple. Mm. Could always place it on the other side if need be. I'm going to place it there. Then we'll connect up like so. And then CCTV. Where is CCTV going to go? Well, the whole point is to look out for fights, isn't it? So, realistically... In here. In the cell blocks. Although I'm very tempted by this area as well. The kitchen. Yeah, let's do that. CCTV in the corners there. And how many do we need? I think we need four or do we need six? Might be six. Hmm... If I place it there, it's going to be staring at the wall, but it does technically see through the walls. Um, putting it there, maybe. It feels a bit off, but I'm going to place it there anyway. Mainly for grand purposes, but it's in. There you go, there's the vision cones. And here's this in. So, remember, this is supposed to be internal. So we need laundry, like so. I mean, it doesn't even have access in here. We're probably just going to bring it out. Um, it might come out here, but this will be remote access, I would imagine. But let's just get it built first. Um, electrical cables. Already I can tell that we're going to need to build this sooner rather than later. The other... the other um, power block, I think. So laundry. We need laundry machines. Mm -hmm. I think we had all this size <laughs> when we rotate it. Um, so left, up, facing right. One, two, Ironing board's small. I don't know why you would run with the, the large ironing board anymore. The small one works the same. A shorter ironing board. It's just a shorter ironing board. You know? Nothing funky in here. You don't need a table. But I always put one in. <laughs> it's just habit. Uh, not going to, though. Because, like I said, we don't, we don't need one. Laundry baskets... Yeah, just, just a couple. We need to sort more out there, but we can sort that out. Yeah, that's why, because they bring in the uniforms, and if we put a table in there, I think they stack them on the table. So, I'll put a table in there. Or do we go with table small? Hmm. Just a standard table's fine. 
So we need to assign prisoners to a couple of things. We've got rooms, cleaning. Minimum size 3x3. Three three. There you go, that's done. And we'll put a concrete wall across that. I'm just checking as well. Is there a way into this? Yes, there is. That can come through here, around there, and in at the moment. Because obviously the wall, we've got all the way on the outside here. So we now should be able to set that to staff only. If we've got things correctly. Done. Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there's an open area somewhere. There. Right. Concrete wall that up then. And that one's already done. I think that's probably going to be it. Let's do... One I remember. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's our vision cones. That looks really nice, doesn't it? Vision cones are there. Obviously, these are not staffed yet, so it's not even going to work. But we should be able to now go to prison labour. Um, oh, we need to increase the size of that cleaning cupboard. Cleaning cupboard. That should be fine. Logistics, prison labour, click. Grant done. Take them all off that. And also remove the cleaning cupboard in itself. So that's a grant done. 15 grand. We're going to go with... What are we going to go with? Ex-gang member protection. It's the biggest chunk of money we can get. And... Gang welfare? Hmm. If we go gang welfare, 15 advance payment, and then ex gang member stuff. Yes. To give us 60 grand. Let's go with deployment, staff only. I'm still missing something. But I'm going to put in some of the automation stuff. But I think that'll be next time. Ah, oh, there we go. So. Got all the outside of staff only. That should be staff only. So should that. Alright. What I'm going to do as well. I'm going to hire a couple of guards to get the vision cones working. There we go. <laughs> Brilliant. So to increase the size of our security force, that'll give us the max second infrastructure, which is... Is that 20 grand payment? Yes, 20 grand payment if we get it. Okay. It does feel like we could actually start getting prisoners in here. Alright, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect. We've got... CCTV up and running. We've got a bit more automation and automatic door stuff. I would like to have these as remote doors, but realistically they're just going to be locked open anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's mainly the secure, this secure, the whole secure side of it that we want to keep as our sort of security area. And have it like remote access. But we need to think about up here. Which is the ex-gang member protection program area thing. We also need protective custody. Basically we'll build one and mirror it. And more stuff in the yard. Yeah, I don't think we're I don't think we're too far off getting prisoners. One thing that's been pointed out as well, and it is noteworthy, that in here we have got these it's not a yard, it's a security area. We were going to have um, guard pavilions in there. And I still might. But apparently you can't assign snipers to them. So we'd have to ha actually, we would ha we'd have to have guard towers, which I'm going to research. As well as... Do you want legal now? No, I think we'll be fine. 
Okay. We're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. Next episode, we are going to get at least this security room, all of these doors, all of the yard stuff in here. And basically, I'm going to wall off the rest of this so that nobody can go to the unbuilt bit. Similar thing up there. And then once I've got that in, we can basically think about getting prisoners. We have the very basics. We have security, we got uh Yeah, we've got kitchens, canteens, we've got the common room with loads of stuff in. Haven't got a phone tap, so I'll have to sort that out as well. But overall, I think we're getting there. Anyway, next episode, we'll crack on with that one. And then maybe think about getting prisoners. Hope you have enjoyed it. Comments in the comments. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.